Take my, my check, take it back, take it back, take it back. Yo, what up? It's J Electronica, the one and only magnetic supreme, illustrious one. We out here at paid dues, working, moving, motivating, building, destroying, and we are in effect with Hard Knock TV. Just Blaze produced Exhibit C. How did that track come about? We was we we was in the studio. We were supposed to be going to the, uh, on the Angela Yee Morning Show the next morning and. We didn't want to go up there without something to bring, so we was trying to work on a record to bring. So we did Exhibit C. We did it in like 15, 20 minutes, and but it wasn't finished. We fell asleep and we missed the show and all of that. And then the next time I heard it again was when he played it on Tony Touch, and that's the story of Exhibit C. <laughs> did you have a concept in mind for it before you went in the studio no, with no, just no, plays? We just, we just he's not because he was he was making it right there on the spot. He was making it, and as he was making it, I was writing. And then we just, we just, we just, we just, we, just, we, we did it, and then. It was in a raw form, and then he mixed it and did all the other stuff da -da 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 later. You know what I'm saying I hadn't, I hadn't even heard it like that. I, I, had, I, had the, I hadn't heard that song from the time the day we recorded it until Tony touched. That was the next time I heard. I had forgot about it. Do you purposely uh, try not to follow the traditional hook verse hook verse song structure? I mean, a song like the Pledge, for example, that's 15 minutes long, definitely doesn't seem to fit that format. What's your creative process like? I mean, I used to, you know what I'm saying? Like when I was younger, I used to try to stick to the form. Which that's, it's, good, it's good to know. It's good as a rapper to know 16, 8, 16. It's, it's, it's like riding a bike, you know what I'm saying? It's good to know that, but it's, it's, it's confining too, you know what I'm saying? Like some, like sometimes the thought that you're trying to communicate ain't 16 bars worth the, worth the thoughts, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it might just be two bars worth of thoughts, you know what I'm saying? So I just, I just, I just started just doing what, what feels good to me, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and for, and forget about the structure, because the structure, because sometimes it it, 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 it can keep you in a prison a little bit. You've been doing your thing for a minute now, but you haven't put out an album. What's the reasoning behind that? Do you not believe in albums anymore? No, no, I do, I do. I'm gonna I'm, I'm put, put out an album, but I still, like, you gotta realize that I've been doing this for a while, and then now, where, where, where I'm at now is, is based on me operating them in my own pace, you know what I'm saying, and in my own space, it, which has got me here, you know what I'm saying? I've tried to do different types of ways before and it didn't work, so I, I'm, I'm just gonna keep going with what works for me, you know what I'm saying? Moving my own space and my own pace. So, but yeah, I'm, I got an album coming, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a, a conventional album, you know what I mean? It's not, it, it ain't gonna be necessarily 16, 8, 16 each song or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? But, but I, got, I, got, I got a project coming. I read that you're putting out a multimedia project with Decon. Is that the project you're talking about? Yeah, well, I, I, I got a bunch of projects coming, but it's a particular project that, yeah, yeah. Um, we, 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 we went to the Paul, we shot some footage, we, um, we got music accompanying it, like a music soundtrack score type of thing. It's, a, it's, it's better, it's better to, I can't even explain it, it's better to see it and get it, to, you know what I'm saying, to, to explain it. I, I'm, not, I'm not good at explaining myself unless I'm rapping. Fair enough. Is there a projected release date for that? Come on, man. Why you? Why would you even? My bad, my bad. Uh, we're at Paid Dues right now, a festival based on independent artists. What does being independent mean to you? Freedom, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, fr the freedom, the freedom, the freedom of not having to answer to a record label, not having to answer to somebody. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like if you had a child, you know what I'm saying? You don't want the state to come in and tell you this is where your son has to go to school, your daughter, this is where, this is where they're going to get their, this is the hospital, this is the religion they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 want, you know what I'm saying? You want, you want, to, you, you, you want to have the freedom to, to, to rear that child in a way that you see fit, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a product of yourself, you know what I'm saying? So being an independent artist, you know what I'm saying, it, 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 it gives you the freedom of being able to be a good parent with, your birth, you know what I'm saying, with, with your with your children, your music, whether it's, whether it's whether it's visual art, whether it's audible, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying, like in the, in the, it's independence. You know what I'm saying independent from something confining you to something. You know what I'm saying in the, independent from some form of a slavery. Not necessarily saying some manipulative, decept, de deceitful form of slavery, but just a slave to something that you not necessarily want to do or want to be or want to represent. You know what I'm saying, so. With all your buzz right now, I'm sure there's a lot of major labels chasing after you. Is there any particular situation in which you would sign to a major? I mean, I, you know, you know, the, 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 the majors, you know, it is what it is. You know, you can kind of see what the, how the world is right now. Things are changing. The internet has opened up a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? And I, I've, I've, I've been able to do. I'm not going to say me, but me and and, and the people who, who who work with me. You know what I'm saying we've, we've we've been able to do what we've done minus major label back and minus money minus those things you know what I'm saying so so in, in, in order I'm not, I never would sign a I never would sign a, 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 a standard 
I, I would never, I would, I would, I would never be in a position where I'm an artist on a label's roster. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna be that. You know what I'm saying? If that's the case, I need to be an artist on my own roster, on, on my mother's roster. You know what I'm saying? But I'm never gonna do that. But there's, there's always room. You know what I'm saying? It's a blank canvas. There's always room to do business. I'm a businessman too. You know what I'm saying? Their business, their corporations. My corporation can do business with their corporation. You know what I'm saying? But I'm never gonna enter no type of agreement with that's gonna. Put, the, put me in a position where I can't be me and do me, and it's gonna be mutually beneficial, not some unbalanced seesaw things, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times when I talk to young MCs, it seems that their main goal is to get signed. What advice would you give to them? Fuck that, the advice I tell you is fuck that. I don't care if they come knock on your door with a record deal, don't sign a record deal. You could go into business with them, I'm saying, as a corporate entity, going into business with another corporate entity, because what you present is what has the value. You know what I'm saying? And they don't care about, I'm not gonna say they don't care, but what you're producing means more to you than it means to them. To them, it means more of profit. You know what I'm saying? They look at things in terms of profit. You know what I'm saying? What is going, they, they, have, they have quotas to meet. They have, you know what I'm saying? They have, they have to stay functioning as a corporation. If this was 10 years ago, you know what I'm saying? You need, you, 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 you need what you needed a record label for was, because if you live in Arizona and you do music, nobody in Iowa knows you. I'm saying nobody in Paris knows you. But now you don't need a record label for somebody in Iowa to know you or somebody in Paris to know you. you know what I'm saying so they bargaining chip, that bargaining chip is gone. So they got to come with another bargaining tool. Now if they want to remain doing business, they got to come with a, they got to come with something better. You know what I'm saying? That, but that's the advice I give. Do it yourself. Always do for self. Doing for self is the best way. You know what I'm saying? And link up with like-minded people that you that you that you feel like moving in the same direction as you. And do it yourself. And then put yourself in a position to do business. If you want to do business with the record labels, then I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't disagree with that. You know what I'm saying? I just disagree with going into. Nobody should be signing a contract in 2010. The same contract Stevie Wonder signed in the 50s. You know what I'm saying? You giving me the same contract in 2010 that they gave to Ray Charles? Oh no, nah, now nah, Cypher. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard Erica's album and I was surprised to not see a feature from you on it. Do you guys purposely try to keep personal and, and music separate? I mean, we got we, we do things, we collect, we, 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 we bounce ideas off each other. You know, we got little pieces of music that we done done together, and ideas that we shoot around, you know what I'm saying? But that's soon to come, you know what I'm saying? Like we, at the same time, I know I know that too, that like if, 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 if me and Erica did something, people gonna put the magnifying glass on that, you know what I'm saying? So, we, you know, we just, we rather it happen naturally than to force it just because, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because my dad is Steven Spielberg, I'm gonna make a movie with my dad, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But it's, be, it's better for a good movie to come, you know what I'm saying, than, than to just force one because of a circumstance. How do you feel about the quote-unquote controversy that's surrounding the window seat music video? Well, that's all bullshit. That's all fake controversy. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying they, they still teach in school in 2010 that Benjamin Franklin discovered electricity and that Isaac Newton discovered gravity. That's more controversial than somebody uh, taking their clothes off in the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's way more controversial shit. Like, that's petty. That's that's bull. It's bull. It's people don't. It's not even real. It's not. That's not even. It's that con the controversy is not even a real thing. You know what I mean? We live in a country where any anyway. All right, don't get me started. No, 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 it's all good. No, no, no yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but you know, it's just bullshit. It's bullshit. It's, it ain't no, it ain't no controversy. What controversy? There is no controversy. <laughs> What's your relationship like with Nas? Did you guys get a chance to work on the Distant Relatives project together that's coming out? I don't know. I, I didn't. You know, he, he called me a few times and like bounced some ideas, whatever. Da da da. But I, we didn't, we didn't work directly on it. But uh, we got some things in the work. We've been, uh, we've been going back and forth, working, passing stuff back and forth, and then. I guess why in the next, in the next maybe month or so we probably we probably get in the lab and actually buckle down on something, you know what I'm saying? And then see what that is and what we gonna do with it, you know what I mean? But you know, that's my man, he's good people, he's, he's you know I don't know I don't, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> What's your relationship like with Twitter? Do you use it mainly to promote your music or do you actually like having conversations with people on there? When I got on Twitter early, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't it wasn't a promotional thing. It wasn't like Check out my new mixtape. Download my new such and such, such and such. You know what I'm saying it was. It was more like, it was more like a chat room, or you know what I'm saying, or more like a forum or something. You know what I'm saying. So I, I still use it like that. I don't. If you kind of notice, that, like every now and then, if I'm in an arrogant mood or something, I might put a link to Exhibit C up on it or something like that. But other than that, I use it 
I use it for what it is, you know, social network. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't, I don't really use it as. A, it's kind. Of, I think it's kind of. I'm saying like sometimes you can go on a, on a, on a Twitter page and you can just see read somebody's timeline and it's just my new mixtape, this event, such and such and such. Not to knock that, you know what I'm saying? But I just. I like to, I like being on Twitter. I like the people on Twitter. I like talking on Twitter. I like reading time. Like, oh, damn, that's you know what I'm saying like I wasn't even thinking about that like that. You know what I'm saying like it's more is Twitter. I think Twitter is a beautiful thing. Another artist that likes to share what's on his mind via Twitter is Lupe. Have you guys uh, ever linked up? Okay, well, you know, actually, me and Lupe, we never had a chance to meet physically. We talk over text message, right? We've been talking over text message for a minute now. I love Lupe. You know what I'm saying? Lupe is. Lupe is one of the last Mohicans, you know what I'm saying? Like, I come from I come I come from an era where the bar was so high in rap that you couldn't just you couldn't just say that you was a rapper and then even even if it was just bubblegum, this and that, you had to be your bubblegum had to be very tasteful, you know what I'm saying? Very tasty. You know what I'm saying? So but Lupe so I, I respect Lupe from for his lyrical ability and then also you know what I'm saying I, I, could, I could see in his music and in his life that he's somebody that's striving you know what I'm saying to be a better Lupe you know what I'm saying so I, I, I relate to that that's my brother I, I can't wait to work with him actually we got a show coming up together soon uh, oh, I forget when it is but yeah yeah and and, and, and I've been making I've been making a point too not to force that too because when that happened naturally that's gonna be a that's gonna be something ridiculous you know what I'm saying so I, I just want that to happen as natural as possible you know what I'm saying so someone that you showed love to on Twitter was Prodigy Prodigy from Mob Deep yeah 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 what about but yeah yeah Prodigy I think that Pro, Pro, Prodigy has if you take the Infamous album right Prodigy and Havoc the beats from Havoc and the rhymes from Havoc too but Prodigy in particular on that album. He blacked out, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about and, and the poetry of what he's saying. Yeah, because you listen to the album, it's, it's violence, it's drugs, it's guns, it's, it's, it's poverty-based topics, you know what I'm saying? In the hood, you know what I'm saying? But but the poetry of it is, it's amazing, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, and that, that's that's something that always lay on my heart, my brain, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and, and, and it probably got a special place in my heart just for that alone, just as a writer. On Exhibit C, you talked about New York rappers jacking Southern slang. You're from New Orleans. How does it feel to put on for the South? Oh, it feel good. You know what I'm saying? It feel, it feel, it feel, it feel good. I can't. I, I'd be, I'd be a liar if I, if I said, if I didn't tell you that it feel good when, like I said in the record, when New York niggas was calling Southern rappers lame, but then Jack and I slang. I know a lot of people take issue with that, but only in New York do they take issue with that. Nobody else take issue with that nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? But. I don't care what they say, you know what I'm saying? I don't care what nobody say. I, I know from experience what people were saying and doing, you know what I'm saying? So it do feel good at this point to be where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? And to be to be recognized for the the lyrical ability, you know what I'm saying? And it's almost it's almost like you know what I'm saying? It if it, 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 it feel it feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Are there any southern rappers you want to work with? Of course, I want to work with Face. Me and Bumby, we've been we we me and Bumby got something coming. Um Believe it or not, I, 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 I want to work with A Ball and MJG. I'm saying like, because I, that's just, that's the shit I grew up on. So I grew, we grew up on LL, we grew up on Rock Him and all that type of stuff. But we grew up on whatever was they song that they had a video for. You know what I'm saying? What was on the radio at home was bounce music, and then if whatever else you was hearing, the people cause and stuff was more ghetto boys, more uh, Big Mike. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of shit. You know, he's your Loop Two Live crew and all that type of stuff. But you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. But a lot of people that I want to work with. Uh, from the south, I want to work with Drake 3000, which you know what I'm saying that's that's inevitable. But I mean, you know what I'm saying like that's that's also something that we you know what I'm saying we that's family. You know what I'm saying so, but that but that's also something that you gotta let take place. Now, if you can't, I, I'm I'm not I'm at a point in my life where I'm not in a I'm not in a I'm not in a business of trying to force a thing because I know from experience what a forced thing produces. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to let things happen naturally. But yeah, Ti. Rick Ross, I fucked with Rick Ross. I don't care what nobody say. People say, oh, well, you, 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 a. I don't care, man. Rick Ross is nice. He got a good ear for beats, and my man is nice with the pen. I fucks with Ross. I fucks with Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just be, just be, just because I fuck with Doom and Most Def and Nas, I fuck with Ross. I fucks with, I like, you know what I'm saying? I fuck, I fuck, anyway. We can't be, we can't be, we can, we can, everything, everything, everything. We live in the universe, and there's nothing that's in the universe that's obsolete. You know what I'm saying? So, we can't, we gotta be more open. How do you feel about the Double XL freshman list that comes out every year? I've heard some people say that it helps hip hop and I've heard some people say that it sets us back in a way. 
I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's, 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 that's, that's actually an interesting question that you just put it like that because I never thought about it like that. You know what I'm saying? You never see like on Rolling Stone like this year the new crop and rock music or the new country crop or the new da da da. So, but but, but you know what I'm saying? But but, but hip hop is still hip hop is still a young art form. You know what I'm saying? Like so. I'm not, I, 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 would, I would say that that hurts or is a negative, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just that's just the expression that the people that's running XXL, they feel like that's something that they want. I, 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 I see what I'm saying. I, I, I see the beauty and the genuine of it, genuineness of it. They want to, you know what I'm saying? They want to, who they feel is, this is who's coming out next, put a little light on it where they may not be getting light, you know what I'm saying? So that's positive, you know what I'm saying? It can't be nothing but positive, you know what I'm saying? So. Which artists from this year's freshman list do you think have a chance to have real longevity in this game? How you gonna put me on a spot like that, man? Let me get me look into my secret crystal magic ball. No, no, no. But you know, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I wish success for all of them. You know what I'm saying? Because we all, we all, we all come from the same struggle and the same. You know what I'm saying? The same path. Trying to, I know what that feel like. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get to somewhere. And be, so I don't wish nothing but success on all of those cats. You know what I mean? Is there anybody in the West Coast you want to work with? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy, but. Every time I think of Cali, the only thing that could pop into my head is Khalil, producer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I can't think of nothing else right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I fucks with Strong, I'm Steady, Cron Don, they hard. They, they had, they had a project that I begged them to get on. They, they did with the Mad Lib. They did with Mad Lib, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And Cron Don, you know you played me. You told me you was gonna let me get on it, but then you played me. I gotta throw you under the bus. I love you. You my brother. I'm just fucking with you, but yeah, he did kind of, he kind of played me. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, strong on steady, but my if you say Cali to me, I'm consumed with Khalil. Shout out to DJ Khalil, that's a homie. I think you on an Exile track would be dope too. Exile, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's why I say consume, because they got Cali always, Cali always keep fresh crops of wonderfulness coming out, you know what I'm saying? But me saying that about Khalil is not negating nothing else or not negating who else I would want to work with. It's just saying that that's all I can think of when it comes to Cali right now.